Hi, this is Katherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and I want to welcome my guest and always my chef, Chef, chef Michael. Michael Boulanger. Oh, that's very from good. From Pebble, Pebble Creek. Creek Golf Course. And we are on the road today. We're at Dillard's in Western Hills, and we have three or four participants that are part of our show tonight that are going to enjoy the recipes out of the Southern Living Christmas Cookbook, which all the proceeds, Chef Michael, go to Ronald McDonald House. Correct. This is a cookbook that's from Southern Living that was put out by Dillard's. Right. And all the proceeds do go to the Ronald McDonald. And the, most of the recipes in this cookbook are low in fat. So therefore, for the, pro, for the way our show works, where we cut recipes in half, actually, we don't have to do that here because most of these have already been cut down in caloric and fat intake. Now, you've picked three recipes for us to cook tonight. Right. And those recipes are what? They are the roasted vegetable. Right. Um, the fiesta chowder. And? And the Italian stuffed pork roast. And we're going to learn how to do that tonight, right? Correct. And we're going to start with the, uh, the Italian pork loin, right? Correct. And I just happen to have that right here. Let's put this up here. OK. And uh, our guests tonight are going to be able to taste all this wonderful food that we're preparing. And we have Robert, Beth, Debbie, and Parker that are joining us um, for our show. OK? Um, you know, we need to start cooking, right? Correct. OK. Or it won't so, get done. Or it won't get done. Correct. And our show's only an hour. That's right. right? Okay. That's right. So right. we're going to start by, um, and by the way, the preparation time is only 30 minutes, which I love. Preparation time is 30 minutes. Cooking time is a little bit longer. 15 minutes. Right. And then standing time is 30 minutes. Right. Right. So we're going to start with a third of a cup of finely chopped onion. Right. And I right. love the way you chop. Go right ahead. Okay. Ladies, we're just going to take this onion. We're going to cut it in want. half. We We're going to make a couple slices treatment. right here, just like Take this. Take two minutes for yourself and let us stand for you. Also, today with any purchase, we have a free blush and, and we'll make a few cuts you. right here. Okay. And as always, thank you for shopping Dillard's West Town Center. And then we'll just dice them up, finely diced. I've been practicing at home, by the way. <laughs> 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 if you notice that she has her fingers tucked, yeah, they're tucked. So touch. that she doesn't cut a piece off. That's okay. okay. You don't have to cut any more of that because we I only need a third of a third cup. Of a cup. Okay, right. let's do that. And if you take even this cup, which is All a right. full cup, and just put a third in there. Okay, I will. And we'll do this. And it's telling us to thing? it's okay. telling us to saute that third of a cup of onion mm -hmm. and one tablespoon of olive, olive oil, oil. Am I correct? Right. Okay. That's so right. Yeah, that's about one tablespoon right there. Great. You like the way we do that, don't you? That's a good yeah. measurement. That's a good measurement. Okay. We never measure, unfortunately, but we do. Okay. okay. And I'm going to clean and up this. And what else goes in besides the okay. third of the cup? We the also, garlic. We also have uh, the mushrooms and garlic and one tablespoon of hot oil. Okay. Okay. So you need to put some garlic in there, which you know, the I'm mushrooms. allergic to, so we don't use it. I don't cut it. The sliced mushroom and the garlic. Sorry. And what we'll do is we'll slice the mushroom up first. How much mushroom goes in there? We need to have at least uh, a third of a cup of finely chopped fresh mushrooms. That's easy enough. Okay. We're Once again, just tuck your fingers and just go ahead and cut them. Right. And we'll finally slice them. It takes a lot of practice to get like this, though. Yeah. And, you know, you have to find the knife that you're most comfortable with. I happen to be comfortable with what I call a 10-inch chef's knife. Now, Catherine, on the other hand, is more comfortable with the smaller 8-inch chef's knife. It's better for her hand. Matter of fact, she's probably more comfortable with something even smaller. Even smaller than that, because it's yeah. really hard when he has small hands to cut like he does, and he's been practicing forever. And on the garlic, the easiest way, you know how to clean garlic? Now, there's all kinds of ways to have these cute little rolling things and everything else, but for years, this is what we've done is we just take and hit it, pops right off. It's clean. Put okay. that off to the side and we'll just mince it up. Uh -huh. Those are the three things that go in for that, right? Right. 
So you want to saute your onions, mushroom, and garlic in one tablespoon of hot oil. Right. In a large skillet over medium heat. And that's what we have going here. That's right. And the saute is very simple. And just bring it that way. Don't you love the way he just, he does that? Right. And it's not hard. You notice I don't throw it in the air. People always think that you're throwing food up in the air. You're not. You're just bringing it this way and then back off the lip. It's a little tilt and off the lip. That's all it is. You're just bringing it back to you. Right. It's real easy. Okay. It's not hard. You make a mess, but that's okay. I hired people to clean that up. Now I clean behind myself. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. And now what we're going to do is, after that heats for about five minutes or until the vegetables are tender, you're going to remove that from the heat. And then we're going to make the cornbread stuffing. Correct. That's what goes into this whole thing. And I'm going to get right. this out of your way. Thank you. 100, 5,000. That way 5, we can go on to the next thing while that's going on. Okay. We're just going to take a little break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 